We've got a couple different selections here. We gotta get Eleanor taken care of today. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty. It's my wife, Marissa, behind the camera. This is our beauty, Eleanor. Eleanor is not going to like what's happening today. I want to thank Factor for your sponsor today's video. Factor hooked us up once again. We, uh, we've got Eleanor here, our special cow. Eleanor obviously is not a prize possession female. She's just our special cow. Just didn't grow up to her full potential, but she's unique. She's special. She's sweet. She was one of the first ones that we ever actually got close to and would eat out of her hand. We're rolling out our second bill of hay. There's the big herd up there. I think uh, she's pregnant, which is super exciting, but we're still about um, a month and a half away from working our animals where we actually round them all up. We take them to the front and we deworm them and we'll pull the calves off. So that's coming up pretty soon, but I feel like I want to get a jump start on some of these females like Eleanor, uh, one of our Peter Cole females who still has a calf on her is struggling. And because the calf is getting bigger, it's pulling mom down. And I think there's some parasite loads because here in Southern Oklahoma, we have those issues. I think Eleanor's got a little bit of that as well. So we're going to go ahead and dart her for safe measure. It's okay if they're pregnant and you deworm them. It has no effect on calf birthing, nothing like that. We're gonna go ahead and get her uh, dewormed real quick right here. And then we're gonna go up on the hill where they are. Now that they're kind of focused on eating, we can pick the ones out we're gonna um, dart as well. Oh, so. you're going at it again. Jeez, females are all jazzed up today. I don't know what's going on. So. The full moon? The full moon, hey, that's probably right. Right? It was last night, wasn't it? I think you're right. It was. It was, very it was a full, full. Pretty, pretty moon. Okay, pretty. so here's what we got, guys. We've got a couple different selections here. I know this has been a topic here recently on a lot of the comments from you guys, and I appreciate people actually looking out for me. Um, a good friend of mine named Tyson over at Stillwater Millen, I said, listen, if you get any darts, I said, please let me know if you get any darts. As soon as they did, he called and said, hey, I've got some darts for you. Now these are not new darts. Uh, this says clear dart, but the important thing is it's a 10 cc, which means if she weighs a thousand pounds. Oh gosh. Sorry, she's coming in hot. Yeah, she is. She, Woo! she scared she me. She thinks Eleanor, you scared me. So <laughs> Sorry, mean the, to. the good thing about <laughs> these is this is a 10 cc. So if you've got a thousand pound female, or bull, whatever it is, you can get a full load here. So whatever it is, if we're worming with sidectin, which we typically use this um, once a year, whether it's fall or spring, depending on what the vet says. So we got sidectin, and we did this a couple of weeks ago, and then we got Avamec Plus injection as well. So um, like on Avamec Plus, it's one cc per 100 pound weight. So if Eleanor, I think she's probably only 800 pounds, Somewhere in there, we can go off of our previous stats on our spreadsheet that we have, our Excel spreadsheet. Same way with Sidectin. So if they weigh 1,000 pounds, they're getting 10 cc's. If they weigh 800 pounds, they're only getting 8 cc's. But my buddy Tyson hooked me up. He put these back before anybody took them. So thank you, Tyson, for hooking us up at our local feed store. And the good thing is, is they're a little bit cheaper because uh, new dog. Who is this? 54. They're a she little looks, bit cheaper. She, she what? Yeah. Yikes. Where's the flag when you need it? She's pretty though. She is pretty. So, and then you look at this female, she weighs at least a thousand pounds off of her old records, but you see how fleshy she is. She's got a little bit of hair on her right side of her neck uh, that needs to shed. You can see a little bit of molting there. It needs to come off. But other than that, her hide is telling you that she's fleshy, she's healthy, and that she will not need a dart. The one behind that just came up as well has a good hide, hair, all looks good, looks healthy. And then you've got Eleanor that still has some molting left to do, and she's a little thin up in her hindquarters area. Good thing is, is about these that Tyson saved for me is these guys are not, it's not a new dart brand. It just says clear dart, don't know the brand, but these actually will fit in the same gun. Are they reusable? 
Oh, does it say? Know. Doesn't really say anything on it actually. It just says clear dart. That's it. This is a new dart gun right here. And then here's their needles as well, <laughs> or their darts. She's fun. That's they not think the we one. Have cubes. So here's the difference. So we're gonna actually see the injection here. We get to see the fluid of this. What we're gonna do is on Eleanor because we she's only at 800 pounds. We're gonna use the 8 cc. Right is what we're gonna use on her. They give you these needles. It's a special needle that fits inside this. It's a very tiny, long needle. So we're gonna go ahead and draw. We're getting low on this. Hey girl, you look good. And here. I am kind of interested to see this, the clear darts. Mm-hmm, I know. So my buddy Colby <laughs> over in Tuttle, Oklahoma, like... I told him, he said he had to dart one of his calves. I said, film it. And uh, I want a different view because Colby shoots his in the shoulder and we shoot ours on the back hip area. And also he pumps, he has the exact same one as gun as we do, but he said pump it 10 times. So I normally pump it five times. And uh, I think that's six right there. Got some footage to compare to. Take a look at Colby's. Shot. It stuck. A lot of force behind it, so I did get the shoulder blade a little bit more than I wanted to. I wanted to be more in front of it, but temporarily forgot this thing shoots a little bit to the left. But I think it was a, uh, I think that was a good, good shot. Um, gave it a little stinger on its shoulder blade, so that's going to be sore for a little bit. But we'll, uh, I'm going to sit out here and wait till it falls out, of course, and then. Uh, Retrieve the dart so nobody steps on it. It should starts to run out us. Are you jumping the fence? What? We've got the truck right here. Yeah, that's a ways away. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't think so. <laughs> got her. Oh, well, that was a good shot. Right where you wanted it. Phased by it. No. She barely even flinched, which is a good thing. So, this is a... Gotta watch her so we can see where the dart falls out. Watch it fall out. She still has it. So, this is a good thing about when you dart. Now, obviously, if you've got, you know, 30 or 40 animals out here, it's a lot of darts. It's very expensive. You have to keep up with the darts. So a reason that we do this, and I know a lot of other ranchers do this, is because it's low stress. She's just out here grazing. She's eating hay. She's up to us. Everything's normal. These two didn't even run. Yeah. Okay. So this is a low stress situation. She barely flinched, and now she's just walking away. So Marissa and I are going to sit here and wait till she drops it. We'll go get it, and hopefully it injects. We'll get it and listen at the fluid and see if it's injected. So this is a low stress situation. Obviously when we bring them up, they still have to have that dewormer. So when we bring them up, that's a little bit stressful on them, obviously. But here's the important thing. If you wait a month on an animal like her or another one that needs, that has a decent parasite load that may be a little thin and she's carrying a calf, you hope the other one's carrying a calf. If you wait another month, they're gonna decline basically a lot faster so if they're already showing signs of it now we're already behind 
Like these animals are meant to survive the wild, survive the bears. And so they're not gonna show the signs. No, they're I gonna thought... push it as long as possible. Yeah, they're gonna hide the fact that they're weak or whatever to not look as though they're the weakest. They're weak. Yeah, which I thought was crazy to think about. I was like, they, the mother nature, right? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, that's right. It's crazy to think about. They're gonna push themselves as long as they can. To look as healthy as they can for as long as they can. Because they, these animals are so social, they'll kick each other out of the herd. Like at Yellowstone or those big places, they'll kick the weeks out. And those are the ones that go to the bears and the wolves. That's why we are doing this now. And some of the ones that are kind of down here, like this one is super fleshy. She's healthy. She's not a problem to work in a month and a half. Eleanor and a couple others need it now. Because if you wait a month, we're even further behind. And bison compared to cattle, this is important. Bison compared to cattle take longer to recover from sicknesses or any disease or illness. They take twice as long to recover, to gain weight and everything. Bison ranchers, they know that for sure because it's just a, that's just the way they're made. They're a super social animal and um, they stress really easy. Ours obviously aren't that stressed right now because this is a normal thing for us. They see us every day. We need to track her and see. Oh, yeah. Let's go see if Eleanor stars her dart. And then we need to make our way up there and find the other one that we're trying to get. It's you, Peter Cole. And, Peter Cole too? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. You see Eleanor? Is she behind? Oh, where'd she go? Who? Where did Eleanor she go? Oh, she's right over here. Can't tell if it's, I think it's still. She didn't, she just walked in a big circle. She still got it. Ten cc's. Yep, it doesn't this, fit. I want, I had a feeling on that actually. I was a little worried about it. Where's the, all right. Let's go up there and get those needles. Let's grab something to eat while we're doing that and we'll come back down here. All right, we're in the new edition of the Ponderosa barn. As you can see, we're still moving in, but... <laughs> oh, we're what? We're still kind of moving in, whatever you call it. Moving in? Moving stuff in. I don't know what to say. But we've got lunch today. This is what we normally eat, is right here. An egg and a, you know, bison snack stick. But today, we've got choices today. Tomato, goat, cheese. Which one do you want? Sun-dried tomato chicken, I think. Sounds good. Sun-dried tomato chicken. That's yeah. yours. I'm going to okay. go with that. I'm going to go with creamy pesto pork chop. These are basically little juices packed full of flavor. So mm, I'll throw the kale, spinach kale one. Okay. So yeah. there's ways, different ways to cook this, but um, we got a little... Since we don't have a microwave. <laughs> no, we don't have a microwave right now. <laughs> this little guy has been our life <laughs> lifeline. We got a little toaster oven here. You can use a little convention oven. And instructions is basically all we're going to do. So, Or you can microwave it, which can cook in two to three minutes. You can have this warmed up. These are fresh, never frozen meals. That's what I love about Factor. Chef prepared meals. No prep, no mess. And like us, working... Oh, you know, it's a hot mess. <laughs> it's a mess. We're always on the go. This... <laughs> Saves us big time uh, just right here. We're gonna cook it today in this oven, so factor is perfect for our life. I don't know about yours, but I wish I'd have had these as a teacher. I've said that before. We love working with Factor, which is owned by HelloFresh. We've always been fans of HelloFresh. This makes life so much easier, especially in lunch, because we've only got two and a half hours and we have to get Brooks. So everything is fast paced because we gotta get a lot done before we get Brooks. Thanks to Factor for making it happen for us. And we're eating healthy, we're not eating bad stuff fast food on going the to the gas station and get yeah. enough <laughs> i do like my gas station so factors <laughs> much healthier head to factor 75.com or click the link below use the code bison 50 to get 50 percent off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber I wonder how that injects if it's floating like this, but it's sort of like, I can't do this.
So thankfully we Jim had. Jim got us a smaller yeah. needle because on these new darts, they don't fit the regular um, injection needle. The, the new dart brand. The new dart brand doesn't fit. This is what typically was in there. This oh, it, is too thick. Of a needle. It did fill it all the way up almost. It did. That's 10 cc's. Whoa. So let's hit. Well, this is ready for. Peter you Cole want, probably needs an eight. You Where's think it? an eight or a. T so you want to do claw that one to claw paw? Yeah, we'll get that one. Peter Cole, 800 pounds. Struggling. Sometimes these females, this time of the year, we're loaded that time, we're still in safety. Sometimes these times of the year, if they've got a calf on them, some of these mamas, it's their first time, she's a first time mama, they can struggle. So that's when we let our bison out. And after we worked them in December, we let the calves back out with their mamas because all their moms were healthy at that point of what we saw. But now she's got this little calf and she's being pulled down at this point late in the winter as we're coming into spring. So we're getting a jump start on her right now and then we'll give her more after 45 days. She can have another dewormer, but sometimes these females come because their calves are milking on them. So we'll shoot her right here. 10 pumps this time <laughs> for my buddy Colby. How many is that, five? I don't know, I wasn't counting. Six. Let's see if this dart makes a difference on how long it stays inside of them. And now she turns. Hold on, give me two seconds, huh? Do you want me to drive and you walk next to me? Okay, that's fine. Can I drive down that hill right there? Huh? Can I drive down the hill right yeah. there? face her either. Mm -mm. Not at all. Last time they all jumped around and were like super bothered and ex excited like what the heck hit them but Eleanor and Peter Cole heifer didn't really move. And you pumped it up more. Yeah. See Quapa? So here's uh, two, you see Colby, he did 10 pumps, hit his calf at the front shoulder. It stuck for a while, but then he had to run the calf around to actually, and then it fell out. He said in about 10 minutes. We did 10 pumps on the Peter Cole heifer and it still stuck to her. We did five or six on Eleanor and it still stuck to her. So Do a drive-by. Real quick. She's being distant because she's older and wiser, and two, she's got a red dog. And you shot at her ankles once. And I shot at her
Hold on. Are you filming? Yep. Oh, dang it. That what was it, completely different. What did it just do? It didn't. Well, it... There's some of that hair that those females fighting. Oh, my. Uh, I don't know if those darts work. That came out completely different. That's kind of wild. It went, I admit, it I went didn't see. at her feet. That's what I, I thought. I caught nine times. I thought it looked like it went low. Did it go, any of it go out? No. Nope. Can you reuse it? I would think yeah, you. Yeah, just will you hand me the. Well, what do you need? I'm gonna clean it out. Well, it got a little dirty. Man, really playing hard to get, huh? He's playing tough to get. You saw she was the second one to the truck today. Hmm. With that other dart, I feel confident in being close. Ooh. Oh, Dusty. Holy crap. I shot way above her hip and it dropped that much. Like, way above her hip. So, not very accurate? No. I'm not happy with those darts. Dang it. Did you see where it hit her? Yeah, like almost in her udder. Yeah. Ugh. That's not good. No. Mm. Son of a god. Gosh, dang it. I mean, I shot above her hip, and it dropped low and to the right, way low. Where'd she go? She ran off. She was running I straight. Ran too. Power her. Poor thing. Mm. Does she still have it? I don't know, I can't see, to be honest with you. I'm not happy with those darts. Yeah, can you tell? No. It fell out? That's out. Okay, then that means it's lost somewhere in this vicinity, it fell out. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see if it injected. It did. It injected, but I'm not happy with where it injected. Ooh. Hmm. This is frustrating. Is there blood on the end of it? Yeah. Oh, dang. Poor thing. These clear darts came in because new dart is very low quantity wise all across the country and uh, shot and missed the first time like I was shooting with the new darts but with this new one it dropped way low. Here's a new dart. This shot really well but with this one I uh, just shot first one it missed went way down at her feet tried to get closer and this time I aimed way above their hip because I knew it would drop again and it dropped so far it went between, like right behind her udder basically. And it injected, which is the good part. There's no fluid left in there. You can see the, those. But it definitely left a mark. There's some blood and hair there. Yikes. It got in her, but I'm not happy where it got in her.
Marissa found the other dart. No, we didn't. Good. Orange, but... So the only one we're missing is Eleanor. Yeah, so it's supposed to be That's good. All right, we've got three cows darted, um, two of them I'm happy with. Eleanor hasn't lost hers yet, um, but uh, the Peter Cole cow, we got her dart back. Marissa found it. We clawpaw we, with the new dart. I'm not very happy with it. Um, obviously, shoots way different than a new dart. These are the kind of trials and tribulations you're going through whenever we're darting. Uh, obviously not ideal for it to shoot that low and shoot basically between her back legs near her udder. That's not where we want it. But we tried a new dart, uh, a different company, because new dart is so low quantity all across America. That dewormer in them now. And give them a step ahead. That's the most important part. So I want to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. Head to factor75.com right now. We got the link in the description for you. Use the code BISON50 and you can get 50% off your first Factor Box. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. I want to thank my wife for her help today filming and uh, with the gun and all that and trying to get me in the right position to get these females taken care of. All part of Bison Ranching here in Southern Oklahoma. Thank you guys for being with us. We'll see you guys soon. Keep Bison Ranching.